Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to be replacing the coolant on our 2007 Yamaha Grizzly YFM 700. Now according to the maintenance procedures from Yamaha, you really should be doing this every two years. If you don't, if you leave fluid in there for too long, it actually becomes acidic. And when it does that, it can actually corrode your engine internals as well as the radiator. And that's the last thing we want. So, what all do we need to actually get this done? Now, if you would, reference the links in the description below the video. We already have a list compiled at partzilla.com of all the parts that you're going to need to do this particular procedure on this machine. Some of those are going to be a container to catch it in, some towels, gloves, 8 millimeter socket, and then the Yamaha radiator fluid. Now, if you've drained it and it's in really bad shape, you may need to run to the local auto parts store and pick up some radiator flush. Just to make sure it's compatible with aluminum radiators because we don't want to damage it. So, once you've got your tools and your parts together, we can go over to the machine and get it done. So let's go. First thing we need to do is get the footwell out of the way. Go and remove the supper plastic. And the next step is going to be to drain the radiator fluid. To do that, you need to go up top first, get to that radiator cap, get it loosened up, come back, pull that one bolt there, that'll get it drained. And when we release it, it's gonna have a fair amount of pressure behind it. So be ready to kind of lift this up, try to catch most of it. Otherwise, it's gonna make a mess. And as you could tell, this coolant definitely needed to be changed. It should not look that color. All right guys, with it looking that bad, we're gonna need to go ahead and flush the system. Before we get started on that, let's go up to the reservoir, go ahead and get the rest of the fluid out so we've got a completely dry system to start working with. It's very important that whichever type of flushing fluid that you pick up to follow the instructions because it may vary from the stuff that I'm using. With the peak, I actually am going to fill it up with water, flush that out, and then I mix up peak with tap water and run it through it again, drain that out. Even though I'm filling it up with water and later on the solution, I still had to follow the same protocols for bleeding off the air. That includes removing this screw here on the thermostat to bleed out, as well as the water pump, which is the top one on the water pump housing. So, we run it through another heat cycle with the combination of the peak fluid and water inside of it. Now it's cooled down all the way. I've got the radiator cap off. Let's go ahead and drain it and see what we have. Slowly starting to look better. What we're going to do next is refill it with water one more time. So let's see what we get this time around. Now we're getting somewhere. Now I had added a little bit of water to the reservoir. We want to go ahead and drain that out as well. All right guys, we have finally finished the flushing procedure on this. I want to show you what a difference it makes. This is what we initially drained out of the machine. This is the combination of the, uh, the flushing compound with water. This is water only. That's what we were wanting because we wanted just about as clean as we can get it. And this one on the end, that's what the factory Yamaha coolant is supposed to look like. So now that she's all cleaned out, let's get it filled back up and bled off. How we're going to do that is go ahead and fill it up till it comes up to the top of the radiator. With the Yamaha brand, it's already diluted. You just pour it straight in. As you're doing this, it may help a little bit to reach in and just squeeze these hoses just to get things flowing around inside, trying to force any air out. All right, let's go to our lower bleed screw. It'll shoot a little bit of air out. It won't take it long. Now that's fluid. Let a little bit flow out without making too much of a mess. Go ahead and close it up. Top this back off. Give the hoses another squeeze. Now we'll go to the other side lead it off at the thermostat, 
Top it off one more time, then we're gonna start. The cap's still off because it's gonna immediately drop. We're gonna top it back off. Then we'll close it up and let it come up to temp. I'm gonna pull that cap as long as it's cool enough for me to touch it with my bare hands. Refill it just a little bit. Now we can finally put this cap on for the last time. And now we just need to refill the reservoir. You wanna have it somewhere in between these two lines. I'm gonna go about two thirds of the way up. That should do it. We're about right here. Well, all right, guys, that pretty much wraps this one up. All I have to do now is just get the plastics back in place. Well, listen, do yourself a favor. Unless you like going through that flushing procedure, why don't you change out your radiator fluid every two years, like Yamaha says. If you need any parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at Partzilla.com and we can get you taken care of. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button below. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Partzilla.com and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.